right, we're going to switch gears here, but this is also very important to all of you out there. I know snoring, constantly moving around, even talking in your sleep. People have some interesting sleeping habits, and if you happen to be sharing a bed with someone uh, who has uh, some of those issues, it can be hard to get used to. That's why a lot of couples are finding it easier to keep things separate when it comes to the sleeping part. So this is called sleep divorce, where couples choose to sleep in separate rooms, and apparently it's becoming more and more common. So we're joined this morning by Cassandra Nelson, a solutions consultant, with how the pros and cons of this arrangement can impact your relationship and maybe your sense of restfulness. So good morning. Good morning. Um, I guess when do you, you would people first pose this as a, a good solution? I mean, when, when, when it's just getting outrageous or maybe when you realize um, early on that you're not sleeping very well. I think it's different for every couple out there in their situation. Um, interesting and shocking statistics. 30% of the public and couples would like to sleep separately. Wow. Really? Okay. And 23% already do. Wow. Really? But you were saying that could be for other reasons too. If somebody has to get up early, mm -hmm. absolutely, uh, you know, they're dealing with a sick kid, something like that. So there's obvious reasons such as that. You mentioned snoring, mm -hmm. sleep apnea is a big one, shifting in the bed, room temperature. <laughs> Clearly, if a partner is sick, right, they kick them to the yes. curb, right? Those different Definitely. reasons. But there's also some un some situations that you wouldn't quite think are as obvious. Okay, like. So there's science behind this, and TTI looks into behaviors and also what motivates us to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And so within that science, we have a model for behavior. It's called DISC. Have you ever heard of that? Mm -mm. So it stands for a four-factor model. D stands for dominance, I stands for influence, S stands for steadiness, and C stands for compliance. So if you had a partner that was more dominant, that means they're ambitious, task-oriented, and very goal-driven. They might choose to sleep separate from their sleeping partner who's snoring because they have a really important proposal tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. And they want to hit that head on. Mm -hmm. okay. Another reason would be if someone's very um, strong in the influence category, they're people oriented, very friendly, such as okay. yourself, and they value oh. relationships. That particular person might sleep separate because their kid isn't feeling well, okay. or maybe they had a bad dream. Okay. What yeah. if they just want to cuddle and then the person's gone? <laughs> You're that, all that's what body pillows are for. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it the same thing? I guess sometimes probably people maybe disagree that we hear where the pet goes and right, the dog yeah. gets Where's to go the on the bed the, either. Yeah, yeah, and, totally. uh, lots of different factors, right? <laughs> yeah, there are lots of factors. There's actually even motivation that plays into this. And you made a really good point about cuddling. Um, we measure a category called surroundings, and it's just what it sounds like. It's why somebody would be willing to have a certain experience experience or um, have an aesthetic environment for them when they sleep. So somebody who tends to be more on the harmonious side of that coin, they would really value the experience of sleeping next to their partner, mm -hmm. maybe cuddling. So it really wouldn't matter if they snore or shift in the bed. Where the other side of this continuum is called objective. And these people are all about functionality. What's the function of sleeping? It's rest. <laughs> it's rest. So this is the partner who says, untwine your legs for mine. I've got to go to the next room. I get need to get out. some rest. <laughs> what about those mattresses where one goes up and the other, you know, separately? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. maybe, maybe I think that's why they separation. make so much money with those yeah. mattresses. Right. Yeah, totally. That's the, that's the uh, sleep separation. That's the step before divorce, <laughs> before, right? Yeah, before yeah. divorce, That'd exactly. Be a good compromise. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Cassandra, thank you so much. It's a really interesting topic. So My pleasure. Appreciate you coming in. Got it. Thank so, you. Thank you. Here's to a good night's sleep.